aliens are actually humans from the future? Perhaps, but maybe not. Aliens are distant human descendants that travel back in time to study past generations, says Michael Masters, professor of biological anthropology at Montana Technological University. He detailed his theory in a book called Identified Flying Objects. In it, he discussed several issues that have been bugging conspiracy theorists and ordinary people <laughs> for years. People who allege they have encountered aliens speak of pale, human-like creatures with big heads. Professor Masters says trends in biological and cultural anthropology indicate that future humans will have a form similar to that. These are namely an, an expanded neural cranium, increase in brain size, and more importantly, a change in the shape of the upper skull, where it becomes more globular and, and, and more rounded. Retraction and reduction of our lower face, which has dominated the last six million years of uh, human evolution. So just looking at the most ubiquitous descriptions of these individuals, if we can take that seriously and we can believe these reports, the fact they consistently describe a bipedal, big-headed, small-faced, hairless, very human-like being, I think is worth taking uh, into consideration. Professor Masters claims that the laws of physics do not prohibit time travel. The scientist says that Albert Einstein, in his famous theory of relativity, detailed a way in which backward time travel is possible. Masters believes that given our history of technological innovation, it's just a matter of time before humans figure out how to engineer a time machine and the materials to withstand energy and force that impact it during time travel. You have Van Stockman, Professor Frank Tipler, uh, the Goldal Universe, all of these models and all of these formula that have been developed out of Einstein's original field equations demonstrate that if you have a large enough mass of highly genetic body with rotational force, it can create rendering and it can create the reorientation of light cones toward the past and therefore close time-like curve. Uh, whatever that means, I suspect, uh, involves achieving uh, uh, time travel. Yeah. As for our flying saucers, so-called alien ships that people alleged to have seen over the years, Professor Masters say they are probably time machines themselves, citing rotational force. Although his theory sounds like a plot from a sci-fi movie, Masters insists that it's testable, and this fact gives his theory a little more credence. If we continue to exist, uh, we will eventually reach a point where we know whether or not uh, that is us getting in these crafts and traveling back in time to study our own evolutionary past, or even if we annihilate ourselves and destroy the human race, we've still essentially tested and falsified uh, this hypothesis. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to extinction and annihilation of the human race in order to come to a conclusion of the, uh, the, the hypothesis. So, are we destined to become pale-skinned, bald creatures with giant heads that travel through time? Perhaps, but maybe not.